Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> ah, how exciting! This is Eric Santos and Stephanie together singing nice. Hangang na Yong. Nang, nang a Yong. That's right. So if it's the end like that, it's Nang. So it's the N and the G together sound like Nang. Okay, let's give it a watch. I think. Freaking <laughs> hell. I say this thing so confidently. <laughs> sure, someone will let us know anyway. <laughs> That is a cool freaking intro, bro. Heart Songs by Eric Santos. I love that. He's a good singer, dude. I think he's awesome. Arranged I'll, I'll... by Paolo Sarate and produced by him, Eric. Uh, oh my god, look at that freaking videography. She looks tiny. She looks, she looks small. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that shot Forefront a lot. and background. Jesus, he's a good singer. It's an album. Efra, he is the Luis Fonsi of the Philippines. Yeah, well... Do not cha oh, like, Eric Santos. change my mind. <laughs> no, he's Eric Santos, but there is a guy, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, uh, are probably familiar with Luis Santos. Luis Fonsi, sorry. <laughs> Them You're making a whole Luis, new person. Luis uh, very popular. And, well, uh, he's the guy that sings Despacito. Yeah, but apart from that, some of his work is also very, very good. But the, like his work actually is more like this, like ballad. Yeah, yeah. It's just so random, like pop. Yeah. It's because it was a though. Daddy Yankee remix. He popped. No, it wasn't a remix. The yeah, Justin yeah, yeah. Bieber was the remix. Uh, no, no, no. Let me tell you. The Justin Bieber is a remix of the remix because really yeah I don't know the original is like a ballad uh, the Despacito is uh, like a ballad that he sang by himself and that Yankee was like you know what more jump on this because I like this song and then he made the reggaeton version and then Justin Bieber was like you know what I'm gonna jump on this <laughs> and he was like he the remix it. It was of so the remix he literally it was. just dropped it. And he freaking went. Pfft. Yeah, it blew up the audience. I think it's like a third or second most watched music video ever. Or, uh... The second most most watched video on YouTube. Wow, well, he beat his own one... baby one. Yeah, but the first one is so... Baby Shark. Do, 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 really? do, baby Fuck Shark. Enough. Yes. Go on. So Eric Santos. Yeah, just just putting it out there. Fun facts. <laughs> That is awesome. Background and forefront, yeah, I love Play. it. Yeah, I remember when I was small as well, I would use my initial everywhere. <laughs> Maybe it's her logo, I don't know. You would think she's like a grown ass woman. Oh, 100%. If you put this in the background and you were just listening to music and not actually watching the music video, you would be thinking, oh, nice. They're probably the same age. It's so mind-boggling. <laughs> the way all these girls, the way they sound, they sing is so bizarre. It is crazy. It's like, holy it shit. is crazy. But, um, she, what I like about her, though, is that she maintains, she still maintains that fresh yep. youthful tonality to her uh, to her voice and i think that will be her trademark because regardless of how many years they will pass i there there are certain colors that don't change after 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 when you turn 16 17 in a female voice you stop changing drastically dramatically um uh so the the that youthfulness and fresh tonality to her vocals 
will maintain will will consistently be there so um you could uh, you could also be fooled she would be 50 and she will still still sound like, oh, she's fresh and 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 youthful yeah but she's also from the philippines Yeah, also true. She will also look like Dean. <laughs> she like 70. I, I think I always do this, but I want to know her age. I think she's 17, bro. Right, so this is basically what her voice... Oh, my phone is there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think she's 17, but don't quote me on that. Right. Take it with a grain of salt. She might be a bit younger, right? Oh, no. Yeah. I actually think she's about 17, 18 years old. Right. I think last time... Oh, I... maybe, yeah, she just turned 18. No, that's Jada. Just Jada just right. turned 18, yeah. yeah. They're all around the same age. <laughs> You see, that color will stay with her forever. Yes! Yeah, Eric Santos is good. It's so easy. It's so easy to make. <laughs> Talent like that is so attractive, so odd. That is awesome, dude. <sighs> Perfect. Everything Fantastic. in there. Fantastic. Just never... freaking fabulous. Ah, oh, this is so freaking annoying how button, good though, they like, are. Perfect. Uh, and golden buzzer. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. 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 What Charlie Sloth has over here? Is it Charlie Sloth? Who? Not Charlie Sloth, is it? <laughs> Who? This guy. Yeah, fire in the booth. Fire in the booth guy. You know the fire in the booth guy. What the hell? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I you're have from, no idea. You, you grew up here. <laughs> I didn't stop telling that people. No, no, no. I, I don't yeah, know. the fire in the booth guy. Ba -ba -ba -bam, bam, 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 boom, perfect. The guy that has the fucking BBC Radio One. His name is Loth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. I, I man. apologize. I didn't mean. Hey, he's a nice guy. I, I don't... Sorry. The hell? Sorry. I guess I... I think it's Charlie Sloth, yeah. <laughs> Or maybe I'm thinking so. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, Charlie Sloth. Him. Ah, oh, I, yeah. I have never seen that man oh, in my life. Oh, come on. He's the guy from Fire in the Booth. Drake's... Even Drake's been there. He gets all these London artists. Mm -hmm. And he has like is a... That, is, that, is that the place Bing. where... That's the place where Man's Don't Hop yeah, happened. Yeah, exactly. Ah, right. Okay, so yeah. I do know. You know the buttons he's got? He's got like, perfect. Oh, okay. Where'd Maybe you find that? that <laughs> it's, like, it's like all like voices and like firework. Boom, <laughs> boom. Like that. Ah, cool. It's awesome. Yeah, so I wish I had I had a soundboard like that. Yeah, maybe I've been saying that for nearly mixer. six months. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get one of those sound mixers that do all like cool stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, this was in it, like outrageous. This, you know, when you see talented people like this, are just God-given, gifted, 
beautiful talent like this, right? For an arranger, arranger and composer, this is like perfect playground. It's like, you know what? Why don't we turn it up to a fifth? <laughs> uh, and also hold that note, you know, for like four beats. And then we go back to your four by four. I like that. You know, it's like, can you do this? No, <laughs> that would be so fun. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if he like, when he composes, whoever composed this, because it was a cover, uh-huh. or whoever arranged this cover. Yeah, I think this it's is like, totally rearranged for it's, them. It's thinking like, uh, I wonder if we ought to do this. It's like, or most like, definitely. Or like, uh, they were probably probably in the same room together when they, they came. Experimenting, yeah. you know, everything. What a cool freaking track, man. Well, I mean, I'm telling you, if... Eric Santos ever decided to drop like a, a Spanish like a Spanish album where he covers like Luis Miguel and like Cristian Castro and like that's a little bit of David Bisbal I wouldn't be mad bro yeah he has the perfect vocal t- timba and tonality for for Spanish ballads it's kind of crazy I listen to him speaking Tagalog and I think that guy's Latino <laughs> like it's just the way he sings it's I don't know how to explain it. You have to listen to the artist that I'm quoting. I wonder where his roots are as well. Eric like, Santos. Yeah, maybe he's just fully he's just Filipino. Full, 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 well, who Filipino. knows? We thought Gary Valenciano was fully Filipino, and it turns out he's half Puerto Rican. Well, you go. You know, so... Half Boricua, baby. <laughs> exactly. So, and also, I mean, Stephanie, again, it's very odd when you see talent of that nature in any anybody. You know what I mean? You're like, what the fuck? I want to be around let a, that. Yeah, let alone such a tiny little package as well. Yeah. That's it's what cute thought. to be small. Absolutely, uh, yes. <laughs> let us know what you thought about it and what other video we should check out next.